okay this problem so let us discuss from alkene so basically something we have discussed in the class ozonolysis and permanganate oxidation this is 8.60 the question says an unknown compound decolorizes bromine water and carbon tetrachloride so i have a compound that is unknown so unknown compound we have and this unknown compound basically decolorizes bromine water so this decolorizes decolorizes br2 solution in carbon tetrachloride decolorizes bromine and that is in ccl4 so let me write here so bromine in carbon tetrachloride this is basically a test for double bond or unsaturation are you getting what is the color of brown bromine it's brown in color it color is decolorized this means this must this compound must contains either double bond or triple bond are you getting so this compound is a unsaturated compound and the further says when this compound is treated with uh, hydrogen catalytic hydrogenation so if we do catalytic hydrogenation h2pt or you can take h2pd also this gives decaline and the structure for decaline is given to you so this compound is called decaline because you have 10 carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is called decaline so this gives decaline so now if i add hydrogen this gives decaline so this means now i am i know something about a structure what is the tot what is the structure in this compound so i know there are to total 10 carbon in this compound because in hydrogenation i cannot generate carbon so the carbon remains same so i can say in a known compound there is 10 carbon i am 100% sure that this compound must contains 10 carbon we cannot generate hydrogenation using hydrogenation we cannot generate carbon now the next reaction says if i treat the same compound with kmno4 if i treat with kmno4 and this is hot and conk so if i treat with hot and conk kmno4 solution so if this is treated with hot and kmno4 hot conk kmno4 solution it gives cis 1 to cyclohexane 1 to dicarboxylic acid so this gives this product so let me put something like this so this gives cooh and these two cs cooh group are cis this means both are same side they are same side of the ring so this is upside of the plane of the paper both cooh group are the same side and this also gives one more product that is a oxalic acid cooh this gives also oxalic acid so this is your oxalic acid it is getting so you have to derive what is the original compound structure we can define original compound structure easily if you remember in ozonolysis or kmno4 oxidation if the hot kmno4 is used or ozonolysis is done in both cases what you have alkene breaks and it gives two carbonyl compound so this gives one carbonyl compound plus another carbonyl compound so it gives carbonyl compound are you getting so this means now i have to look how many carbonyl compound i have got or if the oxidation is done vigorously this carbonyl compound further converts into acid so i have to see how many carbonyl group i have i have here one carbonyl group one here also two are you getting in this also in this so this means cooh contains one co group in this cooh also i have one in this cooh also i have one so this there is a co group here also so total four co group i have 1 2 3 4 are you getting so let me see let me write here if you have written this one so there are four coh group we have so we have one coh group here so let me put cooh another coh group i have here and there are two coh group i have here so let me put something like this cooh oh these are the two product 
what I have to do is to derive the original compound I have to lose this one and I have to make a double bond because this acid are coming due to the double bond so I have to remove all these things and put the double bond between these two carbon and also I have to put the double bond between these two carbon if I do something like that so let us see what we have so I have initially a 6 member ring and now 1 2 3 4 4 carbon more so this is the 2 so I need 4 more carbon so I will have 1 2 3 4 and this is 1 2 3 4 so I have 4 carbon are you getting or not so this is my 4 carbon so I can make something like this so this is here are you getting so we have 4 carbon in this case are you able to understand or not so I have to make double bond also so between this carbon and this carbon I have a double bond between this carbon and this carbon I have to have a double bond so this is the original compound so you see original compound I said there are 10 carbon so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so you have 10 carbon is here and why we are making something like this dotted uh, solid line because you see in the initial compound this is the acid that we are getting is cis this means I have to put both both this same side of the ring so this is the ring and now this is same side it cannot be opposite side otherwise I have not get cis acid so dicarboxylic acid I am getting that is given the problem is so cis so I have to have cis so this means these two should have same side now this means I have a double bond here also I have a double bond here also I can put the double bond now see one can ask in this reaction how many mole of hydrogen is used so since there are two mole of double bond two double bonds so two mole of hydrogen is used for hydrogenation for hydrogenation I can say for hydrogenation hydrogenation two mole of hydrogen is used two mole of hydrogen is used are you getting or not how many mole of hydrogen is used? 2 mole. Now what is the unsaturation for this compound? Now if you see somebody can ask what is the unsaturation for this compound? What do you will say? 2. No, this is not correct because unsaturation is total unsaturation factor is 4. 2 double bond you have and 1 ring and 1 another ring. So unsaturation factor is 4. Total unsaturation factor is 4. Unsaturation due to double bond is 2. Unsaturation factor for this compound is 4. Are you getting so unsaturation factor for this compound is 4 we'll go for the next problem let us copy this one so only one thing we have learned in this compound in this uh, problem but we what is that is uh, if you have a double bond if you do either ozonolysis or you do chemino 4 oxidation in both cases if you have one mole of double bond you will two mole of carbon will compound are you getting and this carbon will compound can be converted into COH or CHO or CO so if you have 4 mole of carbonyl compound you are getting this suggest me there should be 2 double bond so how many double bond we have it can be visualized just by looking the number of carbonyl groups that we are getting after the reaction of chemino 4 let us copy this one 